Hey, what's up? This is Jason Drone. Welcome to today's presentation. This is episode number 83 of our GSD dailies, um, standing for Get Shit Done. And today we're going to talk about lead generation on a budget um, or more affordable lead generation tactics. Yesterday we talked about lead magnets. The day before we talked about uh, Monday, we talked about lead generation in general and how, especially now, you need to be generating your leads online in order to truly grow a business. Because, I mean, with the rampant cases of COVID across the country, as states have opened up, it is becoming more and more and more apparent that we probably aren't going to get back to the way things were. Um, if you thought that they we would in the first place. So really what we need to do is we need to make sure that you have the, the skills and tools necessary to transition your business online or to start a business that is able to grow online. Because if you can't, then it's going to be a really, really, really rough road. Now, with that being said, our preferred method of driving leads online is through paid traffic, Facebook ads. Google ads, you know, all of that stuff. But in the same breath, I know that paid traffic requires investment, uh, capital, you know, so you either need to be generating revenue from your business, and then you're dumping that back into paid ads, or you need to have some ad budget that you're able to roll into paid ads. Um, and a lot of that stuff isn't terribly feasible at the moment, um, depending on what kind of business you're in, how new you are, what you're, what you're, what you're doing, you know, so today's presentation is going to be about seven ways to generate leads economically, you know, where you're not necessarily trying to spend ad budget and, um, you know, you're, you're basically free traffic kind of stuff, you know, so here's the thing with, traffic and leads. Every every lead generation method has a cost. Every lead that comes into your world has a cost. Now that cost is either going to be time or it's going to be money. One or the other. So if it's time, then it's going to be the 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 time that you're investing doing the social media posts. The time that you're investing doing uh, writing blog articles, the time that you're investing writing Forbes content or whatever. So there's always going to be a time, so you know, a cost associated with the lead. If it is ad budget, then it's going to be the dollar figure associated with the ads that started, you know, so the dollar, the, the $2 per click, a dollar per click, whatever, you know, and it took you four clicks to get a lead, which meant the lead was $6, let's say. Um, so there's always going to be a cost when it comes to generating leads. Now, it just depends on what you're okay with. If you're okay with investing time to get leads, you know, potentially tomorrow, potentially next week, potentially next month, then content is going to be the way to go. If you want leads much more rapidly, then but you you don't want to necessarily you don't have an ad budget, then you need to go with a couple different kinds of methods. It might be social media influencers, it might be affiliates, it might be leveraging email lists or something like that, doing email drops. So there's some other ways that that you can do it. Now here we're going to go through seven different ways of generating leads. So this is. Uh, here, I'm just going to drop the blog post here. So here's the post that is going to serve as today's kind of foundation. So seven highly effective ways to generate leads on a budget. Now, this is the podcast episode we're watching right now. So you can go ahead and um, subscribe here. If you just mouse over the done for you, hit su subscribe, and then make sure that way you get notification on all the future episodes. Um, so basically, what does lead generation mean? Just to kind of kick off, what is lead generation exactly? Well, lead generation is when somebody basically raises their hand and say, yes, I want more information from you. It might be requesting a lead magnet, a PDF that you have on your website that they want to download and get more information about something you do. Or it might be them opting in to get a quote from you if you have a professional service or something like that. Or it might be 
um, them filling out a fully qualified lead form to get a call back um, about the house that they want to sell. You know, so there's lots of different ways to generate leads. But when some, when somebody raises their hand and say, yes, I want you to call me, I want you to email me, I want you to, um, you know, somehow interact with the business, that is what a lead for you. That is when a lead is generated. Now, there's some, a lot of ways to do it. But the first we're going to talk about is word of mouth. So word of mouth is, is the best way to generate leads for free. Um, and it's also the one that leads to the highest conversions. So this is a referral marketing one on one, you know, so this is how like I started years and years and years ago, selling services to people, internet marketing services was I ended up, I became friendly with a couple, you know, consultants, and they were like business strategy kind of consultants, they didn't do any website stuff. So I was the website guy that they turned to. So word of mouth, referral marketing, it's the best way to generate leads and generate sales on a budget. Um, and those people close really, really, really quickly. The problem is you actually have to get out of your shell right now, like literally right now, you know, it's difficult to do a whole lot of word of mouth because there are no in-person networking events. There's no chamber of commerce events. I mean, People have moved to, to like digital, of course, you know, so they're doing Zoom meetups and, you know, um, Slack channels and Facebook groups and all these other things to foster a digital community. But you're not necessarily able to just walk into a room and um, show off, you know, if you will, or network or meet people or exchange business cards. So what you have to do is you have to be more present, you know, so you have to show up more. And when you and showing up more looks literally like what I'm doing right here, like doing a live stream, doing a podcast, showing up in social media, you know, reaching out to a friend or an acquaintance, jumping on Zoom and being seen, your face being seen. You know, so there's lots of ways that you can foster that community, foster those relationships to reinforce the fact that they need to send you business, but you literally need to show up. You can't sit in your office and do nothing and then hope that you're going to generate some word of mouth. Um, you might, if your work is that good, and then you have one client and that one client tells another client or another client, but you don't get like massive exposure that way. So number two is local meetups. Again, local meetups have transitioned online. So when this was originally written local meetups was a thing, you know, so you could go to networking events, you could go to chiropractic association events and pick up clients, you could do go to CEO space, you could do, there's all kinds of, of, of real life events that you could show up to. All of those events have transitioned online because they've had to. So the modalities have changed. Zoom is has been the, the great equalizer in terms of events. Um, Facebook groups, you know, they've moved online. So you have to get into those those meetup groups so that if and when they're ever able to start meeting up locally again, then you can join. But for now, you're able to network and go that way. Now, the, the interesting thing about events right now is that everybody is craving connection. Um, so I have found personally, it has never, ever, ever been easier to get in somebody's inbox, to get a call with somebody than it is right now because people are looking for that connection. So it's really quite easy to meet up and network. Um, now, if you're using tools and you're, you're present the way you should be. Number three, host a giveaway or viral contest. So there's a lot of software that you can do um, that, that will help you do this. Rafflecopter is one, Viral Loops is another. Um, but at the end of the day, it, the premise is really pretty easy. You know, you give away a $100 Amazon gift card um, and you get people to sign up for a contest. So that is a way to generate leads really, really quickly. I, we've had a client who um, did it with uh, uh, annual Photoshop license. They were a photographer and that worked out really well. They've also given away like photo, photo, Photoshop brushes and stuff. That's worked really, really well. It works well when it's something like in high demand and it's digital. So there's no cost to you, you know, associated with giving that thing away. Um, you can have somebody opt in for something and then they can recommend two or three more friends. And then um, 
then they get like a, a special bonus thing. So there's lots of ways to do the giveaway in the viral contest. But if you're willing to spend a couple hundred bucks on a cool prize, then you might generate 500, 600, 1,000 leads um, organically if the prize is cool enough, you know, so there again, you still have a cost. There's still that, you know, you might be spending 30 cents, 40 cents, 50 cents per lead. Um, but it's cheaper than the $2 or $4 or $5. You're going to be, you know, driving paid traffic to number four is use your social media of choice. Social media. Um, again, you show up, you be seen, do some live streams, do some images, you know, you, you upload some quotes, you upload some articles and, and, then you're going to be able to connect with the people in your markets, connect with, you know, the people who are the gatekeepers of your prospects or connect with your prospects at the end of the day, you know, and you can do this by investing time in the social posting, by investing time in creating the videos, by investing time in making sure that your social media is updated and frequent and you're, you know, consistent about it. Consistency is really the biggest thing too. You want to make sure your social posts, they link to landing pages, the landing pages collect the leads, you know, all of that stuff. But consistency, like every day, 10 o'clock or 10 or three ish, <laughs> you know, I am here. And now it's like my clients, my prospects, this is episode 83. So I've been doing it for three months now. Um, literally all of all of my clients know this is what I do Monday through Friday. They're like, Oh, yeah, you, you have your thing at 10 o'clock. Yes, I do. You know, so so I'll talk to you at nine or I'll talk to you at 1030, you know, so <laughs> which is which is kind of cool. Um, generate uh, lead generation tactic. Number five, reach out with cold emails. We actually there's an eighth one I'm going to add in here, too. I just crossed my mind, but we don't do a whole lot of cold emails. Um, when you you can you can buy a list, you can email that list. You can email that list through Gmail or whatever. Um there's a lot of clients who they end up coming to us and they have like a LinkedIn account. They use a LinkedIn sales navigator, sales navigator, you know, dumps a bunch of CRM leads, you know, off to them. And they're like, what can I do with these? You know, can I send them emails, you know, and to answer it succinctly, cold email, when you send somebody that you don't have a relationship with an email, it's considered spam. Um, when it's a one-on-one -on -one kind of email, just like kind of a, a reach out email, then people don't necessarily take offense to it. If you send a second email or third email or fourth email, then you're, you're spamming them. Um, so there are fines, you know, that could go along with it. If you upload a list of, you know, a cold list of a thousand people and to uh, CRM, and then you email all those people, you are spamming them. They didn't opt in. They didn't agree to it. They didn't agree to, to receive an email from you. Um, so it's up to you if that's how you want to do business. I know lots and lots and lots and lots of businesses that do, uh, we do not, um, every, every lead that we have, they raise their hand at some, some, to some degree, they raise their hand and they come into our funnel in one way or another. They, they opt in for a PDF, but I know lots and lots of like business development representatives, BDRs for software companies and stuff. Um, their, their teams are taught to purchase lists and spam those lists until they get a lead. It works. I know it works. Um, legally, is it is it great? Probably not. Um, but I know it's it's effective. So you can reach out with cold emails. You can curate your email lists and then send them, you know, email. If you buy your email list through a broker, like if you were to go to lists.nextmark.com. There's an email list search engine tool. It's a mailing list finder. This is a collection, a big, big ass database of, of you know, tens of thousands of emails, you know, uh, lists that have been curated that you can purchase. So if you want to look for, let's say, startups, let's just see what, see what comes up. Venture capital and private equity resource. There's 5,010 names on this. Uh, and it is mailing address, email address, and phone number for $125,000 per or hundred and $125 per thousand records. So this is going to cost you, um, you know, it's going to cost you 600, 700 bucks, you know, for this list to get access to this list. They will mail it probably once. Um, and everyone is a little bit different. So this particular list, there's a little bit of a description. 
as to who is on this list. Um, then you can get pricing or get more information. Just go and fill out the little form and the, it will direct you to the broker who is responsible for this list. Now, when you're looking at this, so sometimes they send out the emails. Other times they have somebody else who sends out the emails. So like you can send out the emails perhaps and they'll seed the list to make sure you only mail, email at once. Um, sometimes they will mail it on their behalf. If the list owner has a relationship with the list, sometimes the list owner will mail it. So there's there's different ways that you're going to get in front of these people. This is an approved way of, of sending out direct mail campaigns because they opted in. The prospects opted in to the original list owner and the list owner is selling you a sponsored ad. So this is a good way of doing it. You know, and, and if you're able to purchase a list under this pretense, then you're able to mail to it and generate leads. Again, paid ads though. I mean, like this is a this is a paid thing, you know. So it's 500, 500, uh, 600 bucks for five thousand names. Of those, you're going to get probably ten percent who are going to click the link. Of those, you're going to get probably one or two or three percent of people who who. I'm sorry, 10% are going to open the email, one or two or 3% are going to click the link inside that email. So you're still getting, it's still dollars for clicks. So does it make sense to do that or go Facebook ads? You know what I mean? So it's all just bringing it back. It's just still those apples to apples. Now, number six, video and live video. What I'm doing right here, this live stream is free. Um, well, so StreamYard, which is the only paid component of this, is 49 bucks a month. And that lets me do, you know, different channels and groups and stuff. But you can do Facebook live streams for free. If there was one most effective way to generate leads, I would say live streams are it, you know, because there's lots of ways you can cut it up. You're going to start seeing a bunch of social videos from us, um, you know, that are edited down and done nice. We're going to drive a bunch of traffic to them, you know, so... But this, in exchange for my my time, 30 minutes a day, 20 minutes a day, this is a high value activity for me, you know, because I can capture some thoughts, we can cut up in a video, we can do future promotions, um, it generates leads, it generates clients, like the whole deal. Um, so video and live video, extremely high leverage, and extremely high value, and you can generate leads on the cheap. You know, I, you don't need StreamYard. You can literally just open up a Facebook, you know, open up the Facebook app, hit live stream and start streaming. You don't need the video. You don't need, or you do need video. You don't need the lights and the microphone and the mix board and, you know, all of that stuff. You don't need any of that stuff. Um, you can literally just do it from your mobile phone. So just make sure the end of every single video has call to action on it. Uh, and then number seven, connect with journalists and local media. So there is a book that I read called the free PR. It's a fantastic book. Cameron Harold is the owner or the writer, I think. Free PR. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So free PR, how to get chased by the press. Fantastic book. Uh, I went through it a little bit earlier this year, uh, the audio book and the Kindle book when the pandemic started, because a lot of people were moving into uh, free PR, you know, because who knows what's going to happen. Um, so I, I heard it being mentioned in, in a couple like kind of circles. So I went through it, but basically, you know, the, the premise of the book is really pretty simple. You network with journalists, um, people who are writing articles that you read, write down their email address, start, you know, create a relationship with them, friend them on Facebook, that kind of thing. Um, and then just be cool. And when you have a story, send it to them, see if they want to cover it and go from there or pick up the phone. So there's another resource here called Harrow, which you can check out too. So there's lots of ways that you can generate leads on the cheap, you know, affordably. Um, they either, they all either involve time or money, but um, you can pick any of these. If there is one that I absolutely loved um, and, and, and I would recommend above all else, it's this do video, do live video, get out of your own head, you know, um, like these videos are far, far, far from perfect, you know, and it's like, I get up here and I talk and I just know that, you know, I, I'm, I get to talk about something cool. There's something that I like. It's not always received real well, <laughs> you know, sometimes I stumble a lot, but at the end of the day, you know, it, it lets me create content and it lets me do the thing that I love, which is creating, you know, so as long as I can do that, then 
my day was a success, you know? So 20 minutes, 25 minutes, just plan on doing a video. It can be once a week, can be twice a week, can be three times a week. Five a week is aggressive. I'm not going to lie. I mean, every single morning for the first like month that I was doing it, I'm like, Shh. like, I can't believe I, I set this personal challenge to do five a week, but now it's fine. Now it's not a big deal. And I'm already on episode 83, you know? So, and it seems like just yesterday this started. So video and live video, add it to your mix. If you want to generate leads on a budget, add, do some, do video and do live video. Just, you know, forget, just stop with the excuses. Stop with one, you know, worrying about what other people are going to think about you. Stop with worrying about what your parents or your friends or your sisters or brothers or, you know, what they're going to think. Just do it. You know, the worst, the worst that's going to happen is that they're going to see your video and then they're going to keep scrolling. That's it. Literally, it takes half a second for them to make up their mind not to watch you or to watch you. So it's up to them. But you are putting yourself out there. You're doing the videos. You're generating leads. You're bettering your business. And you're surviving this pandemic. You know, you're, you're trans, transitioning and pivoting through this thing so that you, you know, see the light on the end, at the end of the tunnel. And that's all. So if you would like to jump on a call with my team and I, Go to doneforyou.com forward slash start. We will put together an action plan for you involving, you know, traffic strategies, sales funnel, lead generation, you know, all of that stuff, what your offers are going to look like. And um, let, let just let us know if you have any questions. And if, you know, go to doneforyou.com forward slash start. There's a little chat bot in the lower right hand corner. If you have a question, go ahead and ask it there um, and we will get you all fixed up. So I will talk to you soon. All right. Thanks.